local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Well, it's 620. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota on your Wednesday morning and a pretty pleasant morning out there. I did wear a little bit of a jacket. Well, I wore a jacket, but yeah. just kind of a light jacket out there to... But I'm not going to complain. You know, we're not really uh, seeing those frigid morning lows mm -hmm. or those cool morning lows like we were seeing just, you know, even last week or a few weeks ago. We're seeing warm temperatures. Now, today is a little cool because we do have a cool air influence from this low to the northwest of us. And you can see here, we're going to increase the clouds through the day. Already seeing some clouds in the Williston area. It's going to bring in a chance for some showers for some. And it is ramping up our winds today. That is one of the bigger uh, talkers for today, the wind. Your temperatures right now are in the 40s and the 50s, so uh, a little cooler, and then we're looking for uh, wind speeds to really ramp up. Already seeing them uh, picked up in the northwest here. The rest of us around 5 to 15 in central and eastern North Dakota. Your wind gusts later today, well, they could top out at 50 and 60 miles per hour. These are your sustained wind speeds at about 3 p.m. It's kind of a snapshot of your afternoon. Westerly, southwesterly winds 25 to 30 sustained, and again, those gusts could be up to 50 and 60 miles per hour. A high wind warning and an advisory, they're in effect today. Where you have the high wind warning, that's where we're more apt to have those wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour today. The rest of us in central North Dakota up to 50. Regardless, we're just all windy. We've got some 60s, around 70 here today. It is a little on the cool side. There are some folks that will struggle to see the 60s today. And again, it's been from this low to our north there. It is bringing a chance for some shower activity. Very hit or miss for many. We'll probably see maybe a trace to a tenth of an inch for a lot of us, possibly around a quarter of an inch in northwest North Dakota. Where we'll bring in a little more moisture there. Once we get into Thursday, we'll see these clouds decrease. We get a better shot at sunshine tomorrow, and you'll feel a bigger difference. We're going to start seeing those temperatures ramp up. So after today, we're kind of bottoming out today, and we warm up each day until we get to that weekend heat. Highs tomorrow, upper 70s to around 80 for many. This weekend, we've been talking about this, still looking to come into fruition. Widespread 90s, mid to upper 90s for a lot of folks. Some of the coolest temperatures in the low 90s. It's just going to be hot, and it's going to be muggy as well. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, dew points, that's a measure of the moisture in the air. When they start getting into the 60s, they start getting a little uncomfortable. So that's something to keep in mind heading into the weekend. It is going to be a muggy one out there. And it's going to be pretty sunny as well. The pattern bringing the heat will pretty much promote nice and sunny skies. Here's a forecast for the next three days in Dickinson. There's your warm Warming trend, kind of bottoming out today in the low 60s, and then ending the week in the mid 80s. Unfortunately, I got to give you wind in the forecast every day for the rest of the week. As we head into the next three days in Williston, back into those mid 80s on Friday, and your forecast for Minot, well, we've got some temperatures in the upper 90s as we head into the weekend. It's a hot one, and we've got chances for some showers and storms picking back up for Monday. Here's that forecast for Bismarck, uh, looking for the heat, and then the overnight lows, pay attention to that as well, because it's going to be pretty warm during the day, so that means we keep some warmth at night. If you're going camping this weekend, uh, I know a lot of folks who are, we're looking for heat during the day and then really nice and pleasant overnight lows in the 60s and 70s. Perfect for bonfires. Then. And it really is. Uh, so that's not too bad. So that's kind of the silver lining mm -hmm. when you talk heat during the day yep. is that you get those warm overnight lows and morning lows. So it's a great weekend to have coffee in the morning outside. Oh. That's my favorite thing to do on my days off. Yes. And if you're camping, go on a little hike yeah. first thing in the morning with a cup of coffee. Morning stuff. Easier to do when yeah. it's hot outside during the afternoon. Yeah, for sure. All right. I like it. Thank you, Amber. And keep it with us here this morning on Good Day Dakota. Still ahead, local baseball and 